Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can tell, I'm in an, I have a towel on my head and I'm in my living room because I just got out of the shower. I've been doing readings and working with clients all day and all night. And I just felt so called in my spirit to come to you one more time before I continue to cleanse my energy of the day and prepare for bed and rest because I'm taking the night off. I just wanted to come in and share this message with you guys because I feel like someone genuinely needs to hear it. There's this need that we look for. Like there's this need that we have as human beings to reassure us, to reassure ourselves and confirm to ourselves that we are on the right path when the path feels easy and effortless. And that is simply not something that we can expect as human beings. And I feel like someone really needs to hear this right now that even if life seems difficult and even if the path seems difficult and has been difficult for quite some time, this does not mean that you are not living in alignment. This does not mean that you are off your path, that the divine has abandoned you, that God has abandoned you or whatever you call it, that the universe is not looking out for you. Sometimes, when you are on your path, the path becomes very, very difficult. It makes it so hard to walk along this path. When that happens, which it will inevitably happen in your life, spirit wants to confirm to you and reassure you that you have done nothing wrong and that you are just in alignment as you were when things were easy and effortless and you were happy and thriving and felt the support. And even during the most difficult times, spirit is not actively looking for reasons to abandon you and spirit has not abandoned you. Your angels and your guides have not abandoned you. It is true that there are times in our life where it's just so unbelievably hard to find peace within ourselves and to trust the process. But that is also a part, a part of the lesson. That is also a part of the plan. That is also an important part of the path. These moments when life is really difficult, it's teaching us one of the lessons that I've learned and one of the lessons that Spirit wants to show to you now. If you guys hear any sneezing, it's Franklin. He's here to trying to ask for attention and huggies and snuggies but one of the ways that spirit one of the one of the ways that spirit shows up to teach us one of the things that spirit teaches us through these lessons is that we have to learn how to rely on ourselves we have to learn to rest on our own ability to persevere to pursue to try to show up and we also get the chance the opportunity to find faith within ourselves faith in the divine's protection faith in the plan and faith in the intuition that we have within us that led us along that path even in that difficult place in the first place to be even begin with i hope that that makes sense i kind of want to reassure you that if life has been difficult and you have always been someone who has been intuitively led or if you trust the divine plan or if you trust your steps if you entrust your intuition and things have hit a rocky or rough path patch in your life this doesn't mean that you've done something wrong or that you abandoned ship it just means that if anything you want to give yourself ample space and ample time to go to your sacred space go to your prayer go to your intention and continue to ask for clarity to continue to ask for courage so that you can persevere so that you can push through and live through this and learn all of the lessons that you're meant to learn even in this difficult time sometimes it's really easy for us to look at other people who are like doing yoga or on the beach or living their best lives and and everything seems to be seemingly work work be working out for them and we look at ourselves and be like well why isn't that happening for me what did i do wrong it's supposed to be easy i'm supposed to be happy and the truth is is that as human beings we are not entitled to feelings of joy and happiness all the time it would be irresponsible as spiritual beings to expect joy and pleasure all the time in fact one of the examples that i gave to one of my clients earlier today that when i was doing this the reading session for her was 
the image of Buddha and the image of enlightened individuals, we can see them sitting on the top of a mountain meditating and trying to connect with the divine and connect with their higher selves in order to gain clarity and enlightenment and direction and purpose for that cycle and stage and season within their life. We look at it and we say, wow, this person has really achieved some level of peace that I'm striving for or that I have, I don't have or some level of purpose that I can't find within myself or with my own spiritual path. Guys, please ignore Nova running around in the background and the, the camera not focusing. I've, I've learned to accept it. Um, yeah, so what? So there's sometimes that thought where it's like, well, what am I doing wrong? And I'm striving for that same level of peace and purpose. I'm missing that. But we also forget that that same person might, the difficulties that might have led them to the mountaintop in the first place, down, the difficulties that would have led them to the mountaintop in the first place, and the consistency that they had to continue to go through, to go up that mountain, sit on that mountaintop, and sit Indian style or within their yoga um, space or meditative space, which can be discom not comfortable in long periods of time in order to reach enlightenment. And that may be exactly what is expected of you right now. You may have to find your way, climb the mountain, go through life, go rise up every single day with consistency and show up and, and, and with the intention of gaining purpose and clarity and direction once again, or to find peace once again. And even though it may seem like sitting still, even sitting still in one space, it may be peaceful to begin with, but over time, it starts to get painful. Over time, your your bones start to ache. You start to question and doubt why you even came to this mountaintop to begin with. Will it ever happen? Will this ever be secured for me? I was called into this space, but I've been here for three months, three weeks, three years, for what is almost an eternity. I've been coming here to the same spot and no, no change, no revelation, no truth. Nothing was revealed to me. No blessing, no miracle. Everything that I felt was promised to me in my spirit. I have not received it. What am I doing wrong? And I just want to confirm to you right now that the path is not always something that looks peaceful. The path is not something that always feels pleasant. And to be in alignment is not always to have the smile plastered, or plastered on your face. Sometimes, oftentimes in our life and at certain specific seasons in our life, we have to genuinely continue to show up and continue to go through where spirit has led us and where our intuition has led us because we there is a greater purpose to all of it. There is a greater purpose and you may not necessarily see it right now you may have to really not even think outside of the box because at that point you would be forcing it, but you may have to practice and stretch the muscle of patience that doesn't even seem human for you. But if that's where spirit led you and if that's where your intuition led you, allow yourself to find, to find faith and to trust that. If I am someone who is practicing, practicing my intuition and stretching my intuitive muscle, you can be someone who's doing the same thing. And try not to compare yourself and to compare paths. If things look a little disordered, sometimes it does look that way. It doesn't mean that you've fallen out of alignment. Sometimes that's exactly what alignment looks like. And the person that you're, gonna, you're going to inevitably become and the transformation that is that you're undergoing right now is usually right on time, not comfortable, but is ultimately a part of your greater destiny. And even though you're uncomfortable, I wanna encourage you, I wanna speak life over you, I want to encourage you to be courageous, to be brave, to be honest, to be transparent, to continue to show up, to allow yourself to be seen. It takes great, it takes great, not confidence, but like, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, it takes balls. Nova, sit down. It's been the longest day, I'm so tired. But I just, I just couldn't go to bed and not pass this message along to you guys. And whoever it's meant for, whenever it's meant for you, I really do hope that it really implants itself in your spirit. And for those of you guys that have already been through it and you know, please, 
reassure those other people who are going through it and who are struggling, please reassure them in the comments that sometimes the path, the most difficult paths are the things that really are leading you in the right direction. And sometimes the easy way is not the right way. Sometimes the way that people are telling you to go is not the way to go. Sometimes the difficult path and the, 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 the path that really tests your ability to like have faith and to, and to continue on and to carry on and to be excited for the future or to have hope or to even not even be joyful. Sometimes it, the path is not a joyful process. Sometimes it's not a happy season in your life. But that doesn't mean that you rush out of it. It doesn't mean that you look for ways to avoid it or escape it or take shortcuts through it because what you have to gain by going through it is the it will be another one of the greatest gifts within your life and the next cycle the next season to enter in your life will be a big big blessing you'll be so happy you went through everything that you went through in order to gain everything that is that you will be and are actively becoming right now including all of the blessings that are meant for you in the future all the things that is that you're manifesting all the things that you're setting intention for they're right in front of you but sometimes, again, the path is a little tricky, a little winding and wild, to say the very least. This damn fly that keeps flying around my head right now, I'm like, Bia! I'm sorry, Sense my, my sense of humor. But yeah, sometimes it's fucking weird. Part of my French, sorry. <laughs> sorry guys, you guys know I'm like always gonna be myself. All right, on that note, I'm gonna go, but I'm sending you guys all of my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Sorry that the camera wasn't able to focus, but um, Franklin and I say hi, and we will see you guys in our next video. <laughs> Bye.